how did you make that choice to go to Pitt? Yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of funny. Like I mean, like I said, when I was benched, I mean, this was a long time coming. I was there for almost four calendar years. So the second that I was benched, I knew uh, it was time to go. And I remember sitting on like a, a Sunday in October and brought got out a, a big whiteboard and really I researched every Division One school in the country. And from my Google research, I kind of could uh, tried to piece together right, which schools would want a quarterback or could need a quarterback just on the surface. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of every every program and. Uh, I kind of got a list of 12 to 15 schools, and uh, I did, at the time, it wasn't the transfer por portal, but the process was still the same, and I went to my compliance office and got my uh, permission to contact other schools, and it was really weird. Like, I would go to practice at SC, get out of practice, and then talk to head coaches at other programs kind of thing, prepping for the following year, uh, but yeah, I... I Talked to a few schools at that point. I wanted to see who came to me that fall uh, just because that was a data point, right? If they're coming to me, that means they're interested. And uh, Pitt was one of the schools. There's a few other schools out there. And I made the decision in December. And I made that decision quickly, quicker than most, because I wanted to enroll uh, that January to be there for a full year and get to know the guys and win the locker room and be there for spring ball and all that. And at the time, Pitt was uh, – at the time, Pitt had the number one offense in the country. They were a top 25 team. They were coming off a big year where they beat Clemson. It was like James Conner and Nate Peterman. They had former transfer quarterbacks. So at the time, it, uh, it felt like the perfect fit. And uh, actually rocking the T-shirt, just uh, got out of a workout. So, yeah, perfect. <laughs> so that's another big – that's a big choice you made. And you took that upon – you did that yourself again. So no – Yep. You owned it. Uh -huh. uh, I would say this time – I mean – Obviously, my parents were there and stuff like that. This time, my parents really took a back seat. And at that point, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of a grown man. I was 21, 22 years old and uh, was well-versed in the, in the scene. And I wasn't really a kid anymore, but my older brother helped me out a lot. Uh, he was in the L.A. area. So, like I said, it was weird. Like, I was had my apartment at, at, at SC and then would take – I had an in-home visit with Pitt uh, as a SC-enrolled student, which was kind of goofy and – he was out here and helped me a bunch. But uh, yeah, that process, I mean, I, I leaned on my high school coach both uh, when I was a high school recruit and then also in the transfer process because he still has his connections and whatnot. And the transfer process is really kind of uncharted territory. So uh, I was well equipped to take it on, but uh, it's definitely a daunting task uh, for sure. Okay. So so you made the switch. You, you, you went to Pitt, you enrolled, um, through all this, you still have school. Yeah. So it's not, it wasn't just about football. It was about school, school as well. So did, how was that going while yeah, all the football yeah. stuff school was going was, on? Yeah, school was great throughout it all. Uh, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not like a, a bookworm or anything, but I'm, I'm a guy that kind of puts in the time to, to have success and get it done. And like I said, I, I graduated high school. Uh, early, so that gave me a, a head start academically as well. I was I got a full semester and a summer under my belt, so I actually graduated college in three years. So I, I graduated in uh, December of 2015. So I could have transferred. I could have grad transferred at the very beginning of my redshirt junior year, which is a lot faster than most guys can. Uh, we saw it this year a little bit with like a Joe Burrow, but even him, like I I was a semester uh, bumped up a. Uh, than him and that's kind of the beauty of graduating early and as a college football player they pay for summer school so you can really use the system and uh, so that was good and then um, all the while when I went to Pitt got my master's in marketing there it was a year-long nice. program and then I also got my uh, MBA from SC as well so I really kind of used the program to my advantage and uh, I talk about it uh, a good amount I'm not a guy that's like sure I, I enjoy learning and kind of what what comes with that but it's I'm not a guy that's super eager to go to school. I just knew the system and I knew that if they were paying for my school, might as well make the most of it. And now sitting at 25 with an athletic career that didn't work out professionally, uh, I'm definitely thankful I did that. And you just led me into my next question. So you transferred over to Pitt and you, um, you're coming into training camp. Uh, could you take us through those, those games ultimately before you, you, um, you had your injury? Yeah. So uh, both my redshirt junior year and my redshirt senior year, both times that opportunities to play, uh, we had very tough uh, schedules to start the year. And uh, with Pitt, it was 
We opened up against Youngstown State, which is one of the best uh, D1 AA programs in the country. So, yes, they're a D1 AA program, but uh, when you're breaking in a new offense, it's not the easiest game. But uh, we escaped with a win there in overtime. Uh, we're kind of just getting used to things, but got the win. Uh, and then the, our next game was against Penn State. Uh, and Penn State, I didn't play well. Um, there was, uh, I guess, I shouldn't short myself that much. There was like two throws I wish I could have back, or really one throw I wish I could have back. And uh, when it comes to that, uh, when, it, when it results in an interception, and those are kind of the plays that you, you latch on to, uh, that wasn't good. But uh, we lost 21-31, I think it was. Uh, put up some, some decent numbers, but like I said, those few throws I wish I could have back. And then the next game after that was Oklahoma State. Both teams were top 10 teams. Both, both have uh, NFL talent that we know today. And we got the doors blown off us. Uh, offense wasn't moving. So I actually got benched after the Oklahoma State game. Uh, once again, after the third game of the year, which uh, was tough, but I'd been down that road before. And then uh, we went down to Georgia Tech uh, and offense once again with our backup wasn't really moving. And so they said, well, that didn't really work. So let's put Brown back in. Uh, and I started the next game and uh, was was pretty much lights out. Was ACC Offensive Player of the Week, or yeah, a ACC Offensive Player of the Week. We got the win, um, and then the following week played a good Syracuse team, a Syracuse team that uh, ended up beating Clemson that year uh, and was playing well. It was a good good game, and then in the third quarter, I got sacked. Uh, was gearing up to throw a uh, fade route down the left hand sideline, and uh, Alton Robinson, who's uh, actually Coming in the draft this year was coming off the uh, right edge and pinned my shoulder up up against here and I tore the labrum in my right shoulder and ultimately that was uh, that was it for me. I would train for the next year and a half uh, to try to give an NFL opportunity, but uh, really that was it. And so uh, yeah, it was uh, not not, uh, not 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 the best season for sure.